Oh, and last uh, video or two, we've had a couple of questions. Um, are those still your original Orby Parker sunglasses? <laughs> These, yes, they're about nine months old now. And typically in nine months, you've gone through at least three. At least, well, I, I would have at least broken one. Well, yeah, but when we went to the Bahamas, you went through two or three. I went and, through and two, two or three weeks. <laughs> Well, I had three pair over the whole trip. I broke two in the process. No, well, well, you broke three because this is the yeah, replacement. Yeah, I, uh, will, I did need to tighten them up. I do go through occasionally and tighten up the screws on the... Yeah. It's because they start to, you know, kind of loosen up. Because yeah. I fold them. Yeah, well, and that's just normal kind of maintenance, I guess. But, uh, so, uh, to answer everybody's question, because that's absolutely the most highly sought off question, is how are the sunglasses holding up? And, uh, and those that know me know I'm pretty cheap. Uh, well, cheap may be not the right word. I just want value for what I spend. And, yeah, and you know, they talk about they don't scratch, and, and they are not scratched, and I put them in the holder in the car and that kind of thing, but I mean, I've dropped them a few times. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not easy on them, or you don't wouldn't break them as much as you do. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, and just just to uh, underscore, we we are not sponsored by Warby Parker. <laughs> I will oh, be well. However, <laughs> yeah, everybody at Warby Parker <laughs> would like to sponsor and have a tester, Janice Janice Parr tester. Yeah. Uh, I think Janice would be quite amicable to, to some right. sort of... Uh, uh, I would try everything they got, you know. Uh, so anyway, and, and even even at that, they, they weren't expensive for what a lot of people spend on sunglasses. But, uh, but well, it's just more the $20 Target sunglasses. Yeah, yeah we're, like I said, yeah. we're cheap, 20, 20 bucks, 20, $25, yeah. you know, and so when, when they're $100, yeah. I kind of go, uh, Yeah, and that's what these were. They were right at $100. They were, like you said, in the realm of sunglasses, they really were not expensive. But, yeah. but if you go through three or four pair of $20, $25 sunglasses and the same amount of time these have lasted, so far, right now, we're kind of breaking even. Exactly. Uh, so. Well, it was just the whole, you know, we were standing in a Luther and my lens fell out, you know. I mean, yeah. Not a whole lot of options there. Oh, no, there's not. So, you know, then you had to buy a pair of cheap sunglasses that you didn't really even like. <laughs> oh, anyway. Okay, talked about my sunglasses before. Just about three weeks ago, I got a brand new pair because we were coming here. And as you can see, <laughs> there's an issue. So, uh, I like that look. Put them back on again. I like that. Uh, <laughs> no, you gotta do is just close your left eye. <laughs> I see a yeah. But anyway, so once again, I will be looking for sunglasses in a Luther Bahamas and tell them when I'll pay for those sunglasses, but I've got to have some here. Um, so, anyway, if any of you have suggestions, I do not want $200 a, sun a pair of sunglasses, but. I'd kind of like something that wouldn't break after, you know, two or three weeks. So, anyway, there you have it. What we found out about the Luther is it's just not overly developed or overly touristy. It's nice, very nice. Um, anyway, we'll probably eat lunch here. Uh, first thing we did when we got here was stop and get me some sunglasses. They were $19 out the door, but I had to, uh, Talk about Valentine's Dive Center, I guess. Harper Island, Bahamas. <laughs> they will, uh, they'll be good for today, and we'll make two. Okay, Ron. Last time we're going to talk about it. Uh, well, I got a whole bunch of time. Uh, bit. I don't think it's going to be the last time we talk about it, but yes, go ahead. See my sunglasses right here. I mean, now granted, these were very inexpensive glasses but I had even looked online a day or so ago those warblies that they 
that they advertise, and they're like $135, and Ron goes, that's still too much to pay. Uh, then this morning when I showed him these, he says, well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you've gone through, what, three or four pair at 20 bucks a pair, so. I know it. I'm almost there, so. Okay. Well, and that's if these glasses are truly unbreakable. I think you could break them. I don't know. Oh, I, I, I think I think I need to be a tester for them. I think I need to find out what their warranty is and take them up on it. Well, you know, if there's a QAQC job for you to test sunglasses, you'd be the person to do it. You know what? We've been trying to figure out something I could do down here, you know, so I could just live down here and we could, you could retire and yeah. I could just uh, find something to do. I think a sunglass tester would be a great job. I don't know that there's a big demand for sunglass testers or not. Thought. If anybody could destroy them, I can't. Oh, I bet. I have always been like that. That's why I never would buy expensive ones because I'd sit on them or. Yeah, but you didn't do anything with these, did you? No. Yeah. We haven't talked about our sunglasses in a while, and uh, I still have my War Warby Parkers. They yeah. seem to be doing great. Well, I did it. I put them on the ground while I was taking the cameras out. There's my Warby Parkers. I broke them. So, how many years? About Three. seven. No. No, it was longer than that, huh? Yeah. But I did it. Finally. <laughs>